All right, how long is it? How long is it? We've got less than five seconds, guys. Three, two, one. It's now 7 p.m. GMT. We can get the results out. Gonna have to change the music. All right, let's uh, let's get to it, guys. Go tell tell everyone that this is on. By the way, go uh, s scream at your your peoples, your friends. Let's get this show going. All right, we will begin. Got some music. We are now doing the uh, traditional unveiling of the Defrag World Cup round times. This being 2021 edition and the end of round three. Let's do this. <laughs> Over 150 people have entered in the uh, CPM discipline. We're kind of keeping the numbers going, actually. It's a difficult map, this one. Very challenging to grind those PBs. I think... Uh, yeah, you had to put in a lot of work. Consistency, I think, was a just it was just so tough to have. Hey, I am top 500 still, okay? I still made top 500. In the world, exactly. Wait, is that Zondarino? Wait, does Zondarino not get the bottom time? What's going on over here? What is happening? We see Piotski. Congrats, Quiet. Well done. Oh, we are at the, uh, about to be a sub-50 mark, it looks like. There we are. Top 127. Get into sub-50 by Happy. Smiley face. Oh, uh, it's true. We are competing with a lot at the moment, Gaz. You're, you're definitely right there. I just needed to slow down getting to the sub-40s as much as possible there, you know? Uh, I saw that, um, who, who else was grinding it? Uh, Theo. Uh, Duffy Theo was grinding. He, I think we might see him. I don't know if he ended up getting sub-45 in the end. Definitely plenty of names I'm re recognizing already. DTEC, Necropsy. I mean, Dem6 over here as well. And I, I'm hoping... I think VQ3 is going to be difficult. I hope that we've got about 90 people in VQ3. That would be like a really, really cool amount uh, to have, I reckon. If that's if that's possible. I do know it was a very, very difficult map. Got Covenant. In 110th place. Sub 45s now. Uh, we're getting there. Oh, we're about to hit to the top 100. Are we still in the 43s for it? Is two. It's going to be 101. Nevergreen is top 100th player. Let's see if those times start sinking. I'm our uh, tamer. Hello, hello. Uh, I am thinking maybe very low 30s for CPM. Can we maybe get like a 29.x in CPM? Would that be possible? It feels so difficult, but we know that these people are completely out of this world. We're sub 43. I f I feel like I feel like I'm definitely top 60 right now. I hope. He says, Nermor. I have watched a few of Nermor's uh, Twitch streams, actually. It's been good fun to check out, actually. Uh, 88 people in VQ3. The time's there. Are now beginning to roll in a little bit. The Winrar salesman has uh, revealed himself. American Cos. Sub 42s. Hey, that's terrifying. Dead Astaire as well. Piotski, 82nd. That's like, I, I feel like with the CPM, we're getting lots of like really close together times. There doesn't seem to be many sort of like big jumps at this stage. Raven submitted as a VQ3 time. Voest Vessel, 41.256. 
Oh, it's basically the same. 75 and 74th. About to hit top 70 and we are getting close to the sub 40 times. Hello, Siggy. We've got a hyper up here. Alright, we're into the top 70 and we have not hit the 40s yet. Our VQ3 yet to get sub 1 minute, in fact. 66, 65th is going to be sub 40 it looks like. There we go. S2, he submitted beforehand also. On the CPM side, that is. Looks like I get to make a top uh, top 60. Tutty, uh, he's been really good on the VQ3, hasn't he? Or is Tutty one of the CPM players? Is that is that making a big surprise? Sure not. I am competing versus nature. He's currently got the same amount of points as me overall. We got Newbrick there. Guys, we're heading into top 50. Can I make top 50? This isn't about me whatsoever. But it also is, you know, selfishly, I am viewing it about me. <laughs> we have Prox, Arataru, Michael here from the, the team. Crazy Al getting his 39.080. M16 is right after. 51st and then 50th. Strau. Surprised that Strau was absolutely wrecking it in the beginning of the week. We're well into the sub one minutes now, by the way. I forgot to mention, but uh, top 59 people. Oh, God. Uh, we're going to have to restart the song. Uh, top 59 people making it into sub one minute. Cans here, 38. Am I going to be 41st? Oh, my God. Am I, I going to make top 40? 41st goes to Zerg. Ah! 39th place. Let's go. Let's go. We got Gel up the next. Uh, Zerg is uh, he submitted 43rd and 41st for VQ3 and CPM re um, respectively. Uh, how old do you be? Gel. Gel, really, really impressive VQ3 player, actually. I mean, just generally impressive anyway. Boris the 14th here. We're getting into the top 30s now. And we are now down to, God, 30, the high 36s. Certy makes himself 31st. Hello, Bionic Man, on, on top of that. Cab Corp, 29th, Orem WW. I never know how to say his name properly, by the way. So are we just going to sort of trickle down a hundredth or a tenth at a time? Megatech has submitted a time for VQ3. I think you made the map, mate. <laughs> uh, Draconics uh, enters here. Uh, Marquee as well. Okay, we're about to get to top 20s, which is where we are going to start looking. Quasar just puts himself outside the top 20. We've got 35.4s. Zass makes it into the top 20 for CPM. We've got Charlon, Step, IVX8, Damned Light, Rain Fire over here. We're now into sub 50s for VQ3. Knight makes a 35.3. Very bad. Kioi as well. Kioi going above Knight. Really, really impressive work from him. Effect, we're in the top 15s, 14s. Delta, who's been performing very highly, especially on VQ3, but also CPM makes top 14. I want to go slower now. Can we go slower? We're about to hit the top 10. Rain and Nebula just outside of the top 10 for their side. So got Writhe in 10th and Ket as well. The guy whose name I can't say. Oh my god, we just jumped half a second over here. We're in the 33s. Kissel. Gopa, Santile, just two frames faster. Strange Love, three tenths faster. We've got Snow with a 48.1. We've been—I was watching him earlier, but look at that—a second and a half has been taken off between him and Delta. Ikra sixth. Liths makes it in fifth. We've got Yotun fifth. Strange Land fourth. We've got Ann in fourth. Who's the big names at the top? Goblin in third. That means Woody and Baz. Which way round are they going to be? We've got Woody second. Hades third. Dex makes second. And Baz with a 31.4. Zass wins in the VQ3. We got a Zass win in VQ3. Let's go. He wins by just under a tenth over Dex, Hades, Strangeland, and Yotun. Let's go, Zass. Unbelievable. It was just saying before we did the scoring is like, yeah, I'm... I can't take CPM so seriously. Oh, he's taking VQ3 seriously. That's absolutely epic. Oh, I'm buzzing. Are we going to have to get some demos, guys? 
First and 20th is <laughs> I mean, we're going to see two Zast demos anyway, but that is super cool. Super, super cool. So we got down to the 44s. And De Dex really, really needs those points, to be honest. I'm very interested to see what this is going to mean for the overall scores, which we're not going to get straight away. But um, I think Dex keeps himself in keeps himself in contention, especially because he was above Hades, Strangeland, and Yotun. But guys, we need to get some um, we need to get some demos. Uh, let's get this. All right, stand by, folks. Stand by. Uh, 21. Let's put the VQ3 guys in. Okay, okay. All right, so I've got the demos loaded and ready to go. A sec, let me, uh, I can have to take that off for a second. And we're going to turn the music off for now because we are actually going to get into the nuts and bolts of this and start, uh, reviewing. Okay, I've got, I think everything's set up my side, so I'm pretty sure the only thing we need to do now is get into game. Saying uh, Miguel saying Dex very close to us. However, Hades is a little further away. True, there's there is like a very very sudden gap at the top, and I mean what's insane is if you look, Baz, Woody, and Goblin are all within two tenths of each other, but then from third to fourth, it's a second and three tenths. It's really crazy how things shoot down um, afterwards. Uh, I just need to... Alright, okay. I can see everything I need to. Let's start with VQ3. It begins. So, we have got Step here setting us off. Um, we've got seven seconds between Step and First Place. Not to have any disregard whatsoever in Step, just to con contextualize how much we've got to go really until uh you know until we get number one 51.088 here we are defrag world cup 2021 vq3 discipline with our first player step and i i have barely looked at vq3 so already getting two times rocket jumps no pre-fire there but already the level of sort of technicality Looks insane, in my opinion. So he uses his rocket off there straight away. He doesn't use it earlier on. He's really decelerated a tremendous amount. I think ideally you kind of... I don't know if you clip somehow, if you use the curvature of the tunnel to get around. So he's, he's really had to, like, absolutely step on the gas. I think another testament to just how tricky this map has been to get every element perfect. I really strongly suspect that this is a very similar end to what we're going to see from most players. Um, both VQ3 and CPM, kind of the overbalance with a couple of rockets. You get good speed that way. Really, really nice first run to set us off from, uh, from step. Moving next, we go 8 tenths faster to IVX8. I think one of the bits we can see here that is going to change is definitely how the tunnel is used. But it also has got to be one of the most difficult... Well, the funny thing is, on its own, it's probably not that hard. But when you've got all of this work that we're looking at IVX8 doing now, it's so much. Okay. Wait, so he uses his two rockets straight away. This is the first time I'm ever going to see the, the lower route used. And he's not going to be using the, the ramp up the top. He goes to the side, and this is what I mean. Following the curvature of the tunnel, he retains over a 1,000 UPS. 
But that was, again, like... I say again. That was so different to anything I've seen before. Oh, he is going to keep a rocket, so I'm immediately wrong. Is he going to use the other rocket, though? He felt that one rocket was enough. And uh, he's not going to pre-fire it uh, or anything like that. Straight up with the plasma. Very, very smooth run from IVX-8. And I like that within 20th and then 19th, we kind of see an example of the higher and lower route that is used. And the fact that also IVX-8 had some really like unconventional looking... Uh, uses of the rockets in that first plasma room. So uh, we go to 18th next, which is Damned Light, who is tied, actually, with Effect. So technically we're watching Tied 17th, Effect and Damned Light, uh, Damned Light on 49.992, one frame into the 50 seconds, but Damned Light is the first one we're going to check out. Let's find out, actually, they've got exactly the same time. How similar are the routes as well? What? Is this necessary? <laughs> He's used all his rockets now. And we're going to go to the lower route because he used all his rockets. I think he's kind of like obliged to take that route. <laughs> If Effect does the same thing, I'm just done with today, to be honest. I was like, oh, is this like a clever thing that you do to help you get the overvamp? No, I think he's just probably done that bit a million times over. And I was like, I'm just going to do it backwards now. Loads of speed there. This is a really, really nice end. Really, really like it. Damned light looking very hot there. 49.992. And I'm actually going to jump straight into Effect's run because it is the same time. Tied 17th. He's going forward. He's taking the uh, unconventional approach. It looks already like he's going to be saving some rockets, I think. Yeah, so he's got two rockets left. So two totally different runs at this point. And he used the rocket early also. And there it is. One more. Setting him to 1500 UPS now does slow down a lot. It's all about, like, can you keep that 900 or 1,000 UPS plus? But I would have expected maybe a bit more of that, so it's super cool to see people, like, electing the, the lower route. In the top 20, that is. So I, I think we need to switch things around a bit just so that Damned Light gets, you know, the almost alphabetic advantage that Effect has had with his characters at the beginning of his name. It's just because he went backwards at the beginning. Does that count for style points? I think it does, somewhere. Uh, we've got Pakistan now. Um, 49.704. I would like to try out the strafe pads actually in VQ3. I'm not sure how hard they are compared to CPM, which CPM is very easy. So just one rocket to the top, keeping two rockets. And he is going to go up and over. And use the rocket. Slick there. He's not able to accelerate loads. Really good speed retention though. He keeps a lot from that part. Yeah, always over a thousand UPS. Now, how much speed can he actually gain strafing? Difficult to get that spacing right. And uh, this is what IVX-8 did. That was a, a very similar finish. Only using the one rocket in total. But it works for him. So, we are so fast getting into um, top 15s now. Because we're going to be moving over to Zeppelin. Zeppelin is three or four frames faster. Uh, so, we, so we're still at like 49.6. Step, who we started was on 59. So we're almost a second and a half in. Uh, but we've got a lot of time still to save going through uh, the following ranks. Lucky with that cone.
Are there any old guards in top 10 from Defrag Walker? I mean, definitely a lot of the guys at the top have been around for a very, very long time. And are incredibly competitive. Little pre-fired rocket. It's going to help him kind of get that little boost over. Which I like to see. So I'm assuming if we're leaving a couple of rockets to go, they're almost certainly going to be taking this upper route. Didn't get much acceleration, it looked like, in the on the slick surface. He rocketed it in, but there's a lot of sort of static speed there. Speed through the tunnel has been very good, though. Again, it makes you wonder, like, how are people going to be finding efficiencies in the tunnel, or is it going to be in other parts of the map? 1500 UPS. Strafe to the top. There it is. Lovely sub-50 time from Zeppelin. No, I, I know it's difficult to to get a lot of acceleration on the slick. But I think there's also like a very tiny sweet spot you can find where it's sort of strafing speedish-esque. But not quite. Uh, Kairos, who I know has been in chat. Let's see him now, actually. Jank run incoming, he's, he says. You're not going backwards, Kairos. So um, what do you think you're doing? Let's get to a thousand UPS. It'll be going a bit faster than the rockets are taking you. Nice little pre-fire work. Here's the two rockets to send him over. Good speed on that, actually. Doesn't even bother kind of just using the surface as slick. And just hugging the right so you can get to that sort of curved wall as fast as you can. Loving the cone strats as well. That rocket is way far forward, ready for the overbounce to send you uh, into it. Really, really nice, Kairos. Congrats on that run, man. Very, very nice. Uh, we are moving. Oh my god, there's just so many times in the 49s. From 18th all the way to 10th is still in the 49s. We move to 13th next, so we're going to Poison. Who's got... Half a tenth faster than Kairos, 49.6. 600. Zero, zero. It says Run X, but the name is Poison on this one. He's got one rocket left, actually. He's used that to get to the bottom. Okay. Buckets of speed from that. Oh, and it keeps loads of speed down here, too. This looks very rapid in this section. Oh, I, I, it's so annoying when you land just before the gap, the, the hole in the floor. Because you know that you're just like, oh, I could have saved half a second if my spacing was a little different. So I think if Poison using that run... If, I mean, he's possibly like a sub-49 if that jump just changes a little bit for him. But a uh, really, really nice work, Poison. Go over to Sentinel next, who is a tenth quicker. 49.496. Balls out. New Bricks. Thank you so much uh, for the seven months. Uh, what place... What did you place? A quick report on New Brick, because I did see you. New Bricks, you got 57 in uh, CPM. You got 57. All right, let's go into Sentinel's run. Five hundred and thirty-two circle jump. It's outrageous. And no pre-fire rockets. All those tons of speed. That oh, that's an actually amazing. He managed to get that plasma to work for him. Holy crap. That looks so tight. Just getting that verticality of the rocket, not sending much uh, like horizontal speed. It's not what I was expecting to see necessarily in the sort of that plasma room from VQ3. But it's been working. 
And again, slightly sort of like late jump. I like that a lot. That's really nice. That's really, really cool. Because it, you, I think you do lose time by having to sort of hit the ceiling and so on. So that rocket at the end, it, it's a shame to, to, to have a rocket still that you haven't used. So that looked like the kind of right way to use it if that's the type of OB jump that you want to do. Um, we move over to Nebula next. So now we're starting to save a bit of time. We've just saved three tenths moving from Sentinel uh, to Nebula. Little pre-fire. Tons of speed here. Looks like he wants to go over the top. Fifteen hundred UPS getting around here. I'm just trying to find how to latch onto the side without losing too much speed. He was just under eight hundred, I think. It looks really, really clean so far though from Nebula. Oh, 1800. Oh my god. Tons of speed from that. Very fast work, Nebula. Congrats on the run. Unfortunately, though, just outside top 10. And we're going to top 10 now where we go to Ket, who is one frame faster than Nebula. Well, Nebula is a, a frame away from being in the top 10. Run looks very similar start to uh, Nebulous, I believe. So there's a frame difference in it somewhere. So just where is that frame purchased? I honestly, these runs look so, so... Oh, it's here. This is There's a lot of speed gained here. So my thoughts are that Cat's finish is maybe not quite as fast as Nebulous. But that, that 100 UPS extra entry speed into the tunnel... Uh, might have might have done it for him. Yeah, so he only used the one rocket. Oh, he misses the last rocket, unfortunately. But, you know, he was thinking of using it. Still frames Nebula, though. Alright, guys. We have just had nine runs in the 49s. Now we're moving into the 48s. We go three tenths quicker. Uh, going to Kissel. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. Man, these circle jumps in VQ3. Well, using a lot here. Whoa, okay, there's a teeny tiny ledge there, which I'd barely noticed. Maximum use of plasma. Looks really nice like this. Oh my god, he keeps tons of speed going in. And I think that's why the, the lower run is looking quite good, because the way that you enter the tunnel, I think it just makes it easier to kind of follow it around and to keep your speed high. So I, I wonder if that's kind of what we're going to get from the, the top guys. Not a bad end at all. Kessel there in the 48s. That, tu that tunnel section looked brilliant from, uh, from Kessel. We are going to go next to Gopa. Gopa, who is two frames faster than Kissel. <laughs> Show the notch. I don't know what you mean, uh, Hummel, I'm afraid. Alright, so they're using the same start. But it looks like the middle section is going to be different. Looks like the wall just caught him for a second. 1400. Maybe the miniest of clips there. Okay, keeps really good speed in the tunnel, actually. Definitely seen people looking like they're struggling getting their speed in, kind of approaching from that angle. So did he have a late jump on the entry there, too? 
He's just, just using anything he can. Plasma, help me across as fast as possible. Um, next, guys, is Snow, who is six tenths faster. Snow's actually been streaming his runs. Um, and he's been looking fantastic, actually. Really, really nice run. So I think I might have had spoilers already, but let's, let's, let's take a look. I think earlier today he was actually streaming for quite a few hours, in fact. This is for seventh position. It is a 48.144. I love that rocket. A little bit of a slide on the top there. And I just love the little bits of use of plasma. Kind of getting everything out of the resources he has. So he enters the tunnel spectacularly quick at 900 UPS-ish. His name is Head Model Orb. This is Snow or uh, Dr. Bonkstein on Twitch, something like that. If anyone's been watching Dr. Bonkstein, this is the same person. Very, very uh, cool run. <laughs> Almost glad I couldn't hear the orb there. So now we are getting to kind of the even more familiar faces of the top of VQ3. These are the guys who've been super consistently right at the top, round in, round out. I think that makes sense. Um, it is Delta. Delta, though. Holy crap, he's a second and a half quicker. So Snow was 48.144. We don't have any 47s. We're now at 46 points. 0.696 so something gets funky now let's let's find out what it is because I, I I don't know how you save one and a half seconds just like that by selecting bones nothing looking too unusual yet All right, that's pretty classic. Okay. Gets a clip. Going up to 1,000 UPS. So he actually does... Like, from a fast selected route, he's managed to keep a lot of speed going into the tunnel. Is, is, is that what it's taking? Is it just that sort of level of cleanness that's allowed it? I mean, it looks like it. The amount of time saved just by doing that yeah, it's got to be the tunnel speed. He was just really, really quick in there. Execution, it seems. Just execution. Yeah. Clean, I think, is the word of the moment from what I'm seeing in chat. <laughs> the funk was the cleanliness. That was some good hygiene in that run. Okay. Guys, we go over to y Yotu next, who is 7 tenths faster. He is 45.976. Yotun still competing for the top spot, actually. Maybe not getting the placement he would have wanted. But fifth is still very good, and I think keeps him in the competition. Nice little pop out. I like it. Are we just looking at the sanitation now in the run? Because again, seven tenths to save is an extreme amount. It just gets that little flick up, which is, which is pretty nuts. These runs look very, very similar. Now it's building that speed. I mean, it could all be. Look, that's a really nice spacing to get into that, into the hole in the floor. Very fast plasma end as well. It looked like really, really fast. Super, super nice work from Yotun. Session precision by, uh, by Yotun. That ramp. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was really, really hot finish by Yotun. I love it. Uh, we've got Strangeland next. The times are kind of keeping a little bit close uh for for a moment now so we go four tenths faster but he's not far away from hades in front of him 45.544 
Let's go over to Mr. Strangeland. Okay, I think... I, I think we're getting almost like a contest on this route to see... How fast you can possibly be with that. Again, is it about the entry? Whoa, okay. He kept over a thousand UPS. It looks like he was like gliding along the ridge of this. That was... That was complex. I don't know how he pulled that off, actually. Really fast speed at the end. The plasma is great, too. I mean, I, I can't really split the difference on the end between Yotun and Strangeland there. It looked like really the three tenths might have been that entry into the tunnel. Like, that was that was a pretty epic performance on that part. We now go to Hades, who is two tenths faster. 45.376. This is different. This is a different use of rockets, actually. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow, okay, so we're getting a top three spot going down the lower route. How's Hades managed to figure that one out? And he's keeping almost 1200 UPS on the entry. Wow, this is an absolutely mad run. This goes against everything we've been seeing for the last few. And he pre-fires both his rockets. And an absolutely epic end, it looks like. <laughs> Let, let's, get, let's take a look at Hades another time. So I just kind of want to remind myself a little bit of the start that I used. Because a lot of people here kind of take the... They go hard on the left. Is what we saw for the last few runs. We've got one rocket. And it's going to 2x it. And he finds a little tiny sort of ledge clip there to go onto. To 1500 UPS. So how, how does he keep the speed? Just kind of glides along the outside. I can't believe... Man, that... The double cone. <laughs> you know, I didn't even spot that the first time round. The double- dude, that's so risky, like, he's going so fast, and he goes for double cone. Woo! Sounds beautiful. 1800 UPS also. That's- that's nuts. That's a really nutty run there from Hades. Unbelievably, though, Hades is not first place because we are now going eight tenths faster. We go to Dex, who really needed to pump out a great run. 44.592. Eight tenths faster. Okay, so this is reminding me of Hades a little bit. He's going to match them. Similar there, okay. And he does have that extra rocket to bring up a bit of speed. Very, very good plasma. I think I might need to watch this again also. Just curve along the outside. Very, very similar. One cone strap. He's got a lot of speed out here. Also barely going below 1200 UPS around this kind of hairpin turn. 1800 UPS. Good plasma. Uh, I, I think we're going to need to watch all of these guys like twice, it feels like. Um, Crane, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Uh, Sazas as well. Thank you very much, Crane. So, I just need to kind of understand a bit what's going on. So this bit was strange, because he, he looked like he stayed on this ledge a little longer than Hades did when he went up here. 
But he has that rocket to go around the corner nicely. And he is just plasma from the moment he's able to switch to it. I don't think he actually hit the, the sort of slanted wall there, in fact. There's a single cone. Uh, you don't need to touch the floor at the end, Cybrix. I think you just need to get across that line. Boink. It's a very nice work up the ramp, actually. Very, 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 very nice work. Did he need to wait for weapon switch to go off the ledge? Uh, are you talking about in the middle room? I don't think there's auto switch at that point. So I think, yeah, he was just as fast as he could switch, basically, is, is almost what it looked like. However, guys, we are at the number one spot now for VQ3 here at the Defrag World Cup 2021 round three. It is Zaz. Zaz has made a round winning time. He is less than a tenth ahead of Dex. 44.512. He's, he's like one of the fan favorites that we've had for years and years and years now. Just because he's been so dedicated to both CPM and VQ3. And now he gets the round win. This feels, um... I don't know. just feels epic. What has he got for us? Is this going to be more? Like, how clean can we get it? Definitely strong similarities between uh, the last couple of runs we've seen. He is going to take it down to the bottom. And is he just going to execute it better? He's so fast here also. Floating around that 1200 UPS mark. Single cone strategies. Really, really fast on the hairpin too. Loses a little bit of speed there. Over 1,800. Oh, he's almost 1,900 UPS there. Super, super fast. So it looks like Hades, Dex, and Zass using somewhat similar strategies. But Zass just executing super, super well. Let's give the uh, the victory lap here for Zass. Taking down uh, uh, the VQ3 round. This feels almost like a sort of vindication here of the amount of amazing stuff we've seen from Zass over the years. Then we get to see him in the top spot. He is using just that plasma really, really early. I I'm just I'm just amazed that the lower route is the fastest route. We were saying like halfway through the, the the thing is like actually the angle that you get into the tunnel from the low route looks like it's easier, or like better to keep that speed going. And that, that, that's got to be one of the big difference makers there. Congratulations, Zass. Number one time. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so, so happy for Zass. Yeah, there's the haste too. That's true. There is, there is the haste. It gets you a lot of speed down there. But, you know, you also lose... There's also a lot of time spent just going down, you know? But I like that the use of the plasma is, is really, really cool. And, I, and I'm glad because when we saw the round happening, we were like, well, it looks like lower is VQ3 and upper is CPM. We saw quite a, like, a fun mix of both the routes used, though, for VQ3. Both routes. I mean, that's a very simplistic way to look at it, but you know what I mean. So, oh, actually, before we go here, I'm going to show my run just because it gives some context to what, how much better we're going to see runs from other people, okay? So I'll show you guys my run, and then we can show that actually the, the good runs. <laughs> yes, cast a run. I, I, I know it's going to look so different. But this is what I was able to pull together. And I probably spent uh, way too much time getting this PB. I felt quite happy with the amount of speed I was able to keep in the tunnel, to be honest. So I'm really curious how much faster people are going to be uh, at the tippy top. But 15 to 1600 UPS, I don't think I could have done better in the tunnel than that.
So I got a 37.9. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. But let's look at the actual really talented people. Uh, give me a second to just adjust my stuff. Oh, we're going to go over to Zas straight away. At least you're... <laughs> I won't say that, won't you? That's, that's me. We got a Zas. 35.4 dead. So 35.4, that's that's a lot faster than me. Hey, like Kira, thank you very much for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Let's get CPM started for the Defrag World Cup 2021 round three. All right, so we are going for a little bit of a rope usage here. And there we are. We are going to get those rockets out early. I'm expecting to see that a lot. Holy shit, the amount of speed. Wow. Wow. It's honestly... It's honestly leaving me scratching my head a little bit. This is so quick, guys. How is anyone faster than this? I don't understand. Yeah, that turn in the tunnel? Like, I would genuinely watch that run again if it- but it is also the first CPM we've watched and we have 19 more to go where I think they're all going to be absolutely bananas. What was interesting is that first rocket tunnel up, um, he actually bounced off and I saw Stral doing this and I think Stral was like, I can't deal with this anymore because it was like, it felt- it felt so difficult it looked like, or at least it looked difficult, that's for sure. Um, but he kind of, it looked like he sort of did a double jump kind of thing. Yeah, 1600 UPS in the stroke channel. That was, that was madness. We're going over to Charlin next. 35.376, so three frames faster. Uh, rope strats, best strats. He's going to go off that area too. And there's so much speed used there. And I like that, that nice flat um, rocket jump. It looks brilliant. He takes a much closer, a sort of a tighter line in, but it does lose quite a lot of speed compared to Zass. Which is crazy, because the rest of the runs looked very, very similar, so... Oh man, that plasma was really good. That was really, really good plasma at the end. So something just exploded outside, so I hope that was just fireworks. The mouse saying PG beware. Yeah, we have not seen any plasma ground boost. But we are just two runs in. Let's let's remember this. I think that end is crazy from Charlin. We go over to Rainfire next, who is one frame faster. 35.368. And remember, I think if I'm right to saying, the sort of starts have looked relatively similar. Okay, so he's not using a little lip bit. Oh, that's pretty neat. I think we had a- I think that was a plasma ground boost, I think. Oh, that was nice. That's just really good from Rainfire. And I do like the racing line he's taking. He does lose quite a bit of speed, though. Just at the end of the hairpin. And the spacing as well. Dude, I do like that work. Kind of using, again, like we saw in Charlin, like that. The edge at the top of um, the last bit to kind of lean into the end a little bit quicker. That's really, really nice. That PGP made him lose speed. Hey, it looked good though. All right. It looked good. Uh, we're moving over to Knight now. Knight is a few more frames faster 35.312. Yeah, that's right. You don't use the ropes. Non-rope strats for the win. If that was the auto switch going to plasma, I don't think he was debating using uh, the plasma ground boost. So that midsection's a little bit more what I would expect. Oh, we got cone strats from Knight. I like the cone strats. Oh, 
Oh, that's so annoying that you have to jump right before the tunnel. Congrats, Knight, though, on the 34.312 and the 17th place. Holy crap, we just had some... Balls just out. had five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Charlotte Tank. That's really, really cool. Is that Charlotte there from, from 19th spot? Man, thank you very much and, and congrats. Cone strats Balls here <laughs> for round, round three. Yeah, de oh god, that's the wrong place to go. I, it is devastating when you want to go in that tunnel, you want to do it from the furthest possible spot of your jump, so I think Knight was just amazingly close for being like well into the 34s there. Uh, thanks again, Charlin. Uh, top 16 now, we are Kiyoi, who is two tenths faster. Alright, we're starting to get a bit of a gap now because there's been one tenth between 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th, just like literally within a tenth of themselves, actually less than that, and now we're getting a... A sort of change in pace from Kiyoi. Because those previous runs all uh, all had a, a lot of similarities, I'd say. What? I don't think you could do that backwards. I like this. He does get the plasma ground boost. He does gain about 150 UPS off that. Whoa there. <laughs> All right, there is some surfing that can be done. Oh, this is such a, such a cool run. Such a cool run. Wow, he actually goes for that. I'm really surprised at that. That's r I don't know if... Th is that the fastest way? All right, all right let's, let's look at Kiyoi again. I've, we're only in 16th spot, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of amazingly cool things. And there's definitely a reason to replay all the demos that we've seen so far. So, he goes backwards. He's got like 200 UPS. Does give him a nice angle on here to just flick out, right? And get that. And then 180 back into the run. Like this too. Plasma ground boost into slick. Now this is the bit where it's like... He's not touching the floor at any point. He's just holding forward. And it just goes on and on and on and on. Doesn't go for cone strats. And this is not what I was expecting. Like he had loads of speed, but I guess he kept gaining some. He just didn't have quite as direct a route to the end. Maybe he just found that it was a bit more consistent doing it that way. Here's like, holy crap, I've had a nice run. Let's just get to the end and, you know, do it well. Definitely could be like a sort of a mental approach that you have to that run after performing so insanely. Really, really, really cool run, uh, Kiyoi. Uh, we go over to Procky next. We are now going into the 34s. He's four tenths faster. Uh, 34.760. Just completing the run, how he did a super... Yeah, I, 100%. That was a really cool run from Kiyoi. That little ledge. It's interesting how some people choose to kind of jump off different parts. That was like less of a slick and more of a... Wow, he's keeping over 1,700 UPS going around that turn. That's insane. Spacing's all right there. Not too bad. 1,900 UPS. And I can't believe he did that because he just made it to the top lip. Poor. I don't know if it was like the perfect plasma at the end, but it was definitely very good. And, and the rest of the run was massively, massively impressive. So, yeah, congrats on top 15 there, Procky. Uh, let's move uh, two tenths faster. We go over to Delta, who came sixth in VQ3. 34.560, so exactly two tenths faster. He goes off the top of there, over a thousand UPS. There it is, that's what we wanted to see, the couple of ground boosts. Almost 2,000 UPS going in there. Slows down to 1650. Oh god, that's rapid. 
I got a feeling we got more plasma crambers coming our way, but wow, Delta. Very, very nice. I feel like we're gonna see some more plasma ground boost, but I just wanna just wanna check out some of them again. I just need to remember where they even where they even come actually. So it's here. It's just holding left. It almost looks like it helps them clip past. Was gaining 100 UPS off that actually. And again, like another 200. Oh, wow. Very nice from Delta. I think there's definitely like a small room to improve on that last bit, but does he, he does a tiny little plasma grammys right at the end. But the thing is, it's that OB at the end is like, it feels like you can't control it and anywhere near as much as you can, maybe some of the aspects of the rest of the run, right? Guys, we're going to 13 now to Mentor. He is five frames faster, I think, maybe less. Um, I think four, actually. 34.464. Let's get it started. The next round, by the way, starts in less than five minutes, guys. So we will be able to move straight onto the round four map afterwards. So I got a little pause there. Very similar sort of slick section. So I always feel like the replay on Delta does justice to, to what we're seeing from Mentor 2. Good speed around this corner. This is this one was faster than Delta actually. But I said, look at that that jump right before the edge. Box standard end. Really, really nice run mentor. Congrats on 13th. Let's move rapidly into 12th then. We're going a couple of tenths faster. Hawks, 34.288. Oh my god. Doesn't go for the plasma ground boost before the slick. The f the, the four. <laughs> oh, it looked like he hit the wall, but did he clip through it? That was bizarre. I did. I definitely noticed that, Piotrski. It was. Yeah. I overlooked that bit a lot. I definitely overlooked that bit. This was a super nice run, though, Hawks. Really, really nice work, man. I do the entry into the tunnel. Yeah. There's no racing line. Racing line doesn't exist. Well, the racing line's different. We've had a couple of... We've had a little bit of cone strats, Kairos. Uh, we now go to Rain, who's, again, like, not many tenths faster. Sorry, not many frames faster. 34.256. Then we are getting into top 10. That little clip thing, oh my god, I just find that continuously mad. I don't think we've seen any plasma ground boost, he's just going at it vanilla. No cone strats? Oh, he does forward turn on that one a bit. Oh, very nice speed at the end. And he is... Oh, it's a brilliant finish from Rain. Really, really nice end. He kept a lot of speed going into uh, in, into the finish line. Let's go top 10, guys. Writhe, who is less than a tenth faster than Rain. 34.176. And then things are about to get a bit mental, actually. Rope strats. He uses the right side, actually. Well, that looked like quite a nice plasma ground boost, actually. Not really using the slick whatsoever. 
Very quick double jump. Spacing looked like it almost would have messed him up there, actually, but he does it really nicely. And the spacing's great going into the tunnel. Only 1,700 UPS at the end, but it's, a, it's still a good finish. Congrats on top 10 rise. Ah, uh, this next guy, I can't say his name, but he's got 33.672. We are half a second faster now. Yeah, that was super clean from Wraith. Really, really cool. I had I can't say his name. There's an XO3TO. I, I don't remember how to say it. I say don't remember. I don't think I ever knew. So half a second faster means it's like a saved jump somewhere. Or is it just like keeping that average UPS up even higher? There's a bit of racing line there. Well, that's almost 2,000 UPS. That's... That's a really fast end. Holy crap. I I think that's got to be the fastest finish we've seen so far. That was bloody rapid. Yeah, that slanted roof is is crucial, it looks like. <laughs> Thanks, Kadisha. Uh, Santal next, who is two frames faster. Oh, 33.656. Good to see Santal up here. Oh, I so wish that I learned this route. It looks so much fun to do. So he keeps it really close on the inside, actually. He doesn't go for the wide line. I mean, I'm really interested to know like how much time you save with like the same runs, whether you go inside slower or outside faster. Slanted roof. Whoa, there. Jesus. OG CPMA player. I mean, dude, rapid CPMA player, what can we say? <laughs> Unreal stuff, guys. We've got strange love now. We go three tenths faster, and we're not far away from it going pretty nuts. So, strange love, 33.368. Did he? pre-run that? That was weird. Very nice rocket there. I like the plasma too. Oh man, there's so much energy. Over 2,000 UPS going into the tunnel. He's gone to 1,800. He's keeping very wide lines, but his average speed is insanely high. Just one rocket and another, actually, he uses on the entrance. That's that's pretty different, actually, in terms of an end that we've seen. Or oh, is there cone strats there? We've got cone strats. Did I miss the cone strats? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to Icarus, guys. He keeps himself in the top six. He's actually a top five player on the points at the moment, I believe. Icarus, two tenths faster. 33.144 Woo! PGB rockets. Wow. It's insane how it keeps that much speed. Down to the 1500s for a moment, but he's all the way back up. Oh, he... Did he do that on purpose to for the spacing, or...? I, I, very, very nice use of the, the slanted roof there, but... I, it's hard to tell if that bump was on purpose, you know? That was... Because he lost, like, 200 UPS. Lith says, yes, he did do it on purpose. I say, I think that's what he meant, at least.
Because he, he got the jump into the tunnel quite well. Squirrel says, has to be. I, I mean, I, I could believe both, if I'm totally honest. I could believe both. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm even going to play it one more time. Let's just... So it's around sort of here. I mean, he's just pressing forward, so that looks deliberate, I'd say. If it's not deliberate... No, there's no way it's not deliberate. That's got to be deliberate. I saw at that level, I don't think you would press those buttons unless you were doing it on purpose. Because he's just holding forward for a while. Unless that's like, uh, like a really good... I don't know, way to handle panicking, potentially missing the strafe. You want to see the pre-run on round seven, on the, the seven again? Okay, I'll look at it quickly, and then we're going into the top five. I don't really understand this, though. It's kind of strafing against the wall. And clipping. Well, to me, this isn't faster. It just looks like he's having fun on that, if I'm, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, guys, let's move to Lith's run. 33.024. Star point? Uh, star points? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, 33.024 from Lith's in top five. It would be an honourable run, yes, that's a good point. Rope strats for lifts. And he likes to spin down and make it look really cool. Lovely plasma ground boost. Holy sh- he's going 2.2k and he gets to slide along! Lifts! Now to me, that's the style points there. Lifts looking really, really hot. Oh, the spacing at the end. 1.9k. Man, if, if the spacing was a bit different on, on that run, and I think he had about 850 UPS on the transition from, like, the rocket tunnel into the sort of plasma room. Dude, that's... I reckon if you grinded that a little more, you've got, like, a very low 32, potentially. That was really... There's some really sick stuff. The, the tunnel plays as well. Mental. Absolutely mad. I think so, Pony. I think I only remember seeing the two of them. Was it Charlotte? Was it Delta? I think Delta, maybe, wasn't it? Guys, we've got Anne next, who is in. Who is the only player to have a a time in the thirty twos at thirty two point nine three six. Oh, Kyo, Kyo, yeah, I think you might be right there. So he doesn't use the immediate rocket? That's pretty insane, isn't it? I'm actually really surprised at that. Right, his spacing at the end has got to be absolutely perfect. Keeps a lot of speed around this happen. Yeah, right in. Almost 2,000 UPS. Plasma looks hot too. Looks like he tries to grab the sort of side as well. Baz gave you everything, didn't have time. <laughs> really, really nice work from Anne. Yeah, as Sully saying in chat, spacing, fantastic there. We are now into the top three, guys. And we, we have gone from 32.9, now down to 31.6. We lose almost a second and a half. Goblin hitting it hard here. Top three in round three. Four oh, man, so much speed off that. 2.2k. 
keeps 1.9k going around the corner. And there was a bit of a slide, but it wasn't insane. It just so calculated. And unbelievable spacing too. It's going to use that, that slanted bit of ceiling as well. Whew. That was rapid. Let's let's take a let's take a look again uh, at Goblin. It's just these runs are so fast. And there's so much going on with them. Plasma ground boost there to rocket. It's so quick. Let's hear that he's got 2.2k. It's a little wall clip, and he does very slight amount of like sliding, but it's. Definitely not as much as we've seen previously. And it's got to be a relief getting to the tunnel knowing that you've made that spacing right. And then just the nerves of having to do the last bit of the run. So, we go to top two now. We are now at Woody's time, who is half a tenth faster. Well, point four hundredths faster than Goblin on a 3-1.6. Zero eight. Would he try to do everything that he can to defend the title that he won in 2019? I mean, just the skill level there is extraordinary. Bit of a racing line he goes across there. Jesus Christ, that was fast at the end. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like he had like five plasma balls or something that went out. I think... Let's do, do some service to all of these top three guys and replay. I, I kind of want to slow down at the end of the run for Woody because that was an insane finish. I do also want to see this and how quick this is. Sort of clip pass with plus 150, 200 UPS. Into the rocket jump. Tiny, tiny plasma ground boost. But three plasma balls brings him up like 150 UPS. So it's here, he's 1900 UPS, but he just... Hits that ramp. I'm actually counting. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just ten. Like, honestly, it felt like he just fired three when I played it in full speed before. Guys, we go back to uh, number one now. It's Baz, who's, who's trying to bring it back. He's been the champion in 2014, 2017. God, was he the champion in 2012 as well? I'm, lo I'm losing my mind a little bit now. Woody took it from him in 2019. And Baz is, is really setting times on fire at the moment uh, with his work so far in the, the first three rounds of Defrag World Cup 2021. Doesn't go for the plasma ground boost, actually. 2.4k? What? He's over 2,000 there! That's unbelievably quick. The spacing works out well as well. That is staggering that he kept that speed around the corner. <laughs> I was like, dude, there's like no plasma ground boost. There's, uh, what's happening? Like, Baz is going tame on us for a second. So the, the less that you see at the beginning of plasma ground boost and stuff, it's like, okay, there's something at the end, right? There is something at the end. And he has like 20 plus UPS on that rocket jump, more than I think anybody else actually. As here, I was like, right, this is weird. I love that, that plasma into, oh my God. Oh, that whole section is insane. 
I thought there's no way you could keep that much speed. When I when I was doing like 1500, 1600 GPS, I was like, Jesus Christ, this is difficult, man. But Baz, unbelievable performance. Tenth and a half ahead of second place. I think this is his second win, actually, because he won round one as well for CPM. So Baz giving himself a nice little, nice little boost over here. All right, guys. Oh, someone said, show your run after. And I was like, I, it would be an, I think it would be an insult if I showed my run now compared to what we've just been seeing. <laughs> um, before I play this, guys, before I play this, this is CPM tool assisted speed run for round three. Baz did a 31.464. What time do we, I haven't seen this. What time do any of you guys think this, this bot's going to show us? And also, if you want real one or process, people were telling me process before, so I think I'm going to go process. 26 is, must I say 24, 27, 25, 26, kind of feels like a lot of people are in that sort of area. Woods is 30, it's like, that's a big compliment to the runners, I'd say. So they're saying 20, 3.67. Capcorp, who gave me this, says unprocess first. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Cab Corp. But okay, let's see if any of us are right. I don't know what it's gonna be. I said like 26. I'll go with 26. Ah, the old classic. Roots not too dissimilar in terms of the roots that have been found. Oh my god. <laughs> He's keeping over 2,000 the whole way. <laughs> it does use the rocket down. Oh my god. I, I did try that one, so I could get any consistency on it. 27.7, man. Only, what, three seconds faster? Three, th well, four, three point seven seconds faster. We're going to the process now. But that rocket going down, and then the OB at the bottom, I'm actually surprised we didn't see people do that. Or, may or maybe it's just simply too inconsistent for, like, humans to do, essentially. Compared to, you know, robots. Oh, is it a random OB? Is that what it is? Bloody hell. So I, I did manage to do it once, when I, so I thought it was possible. But maybe I just hit a random OB. L Rocket Down is literally, literally lottery. Got it. Uh, guys, it looks like we need to move.